Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Steve and Davidson here. Time for a little bit of a JNAT honing video. Unfortunately, get my coffee here. Get a swig of it. Excuse me just a moment. Unfortunately, I tried doing a bevel setting video, but this razor needed so much work and took so long. And I had such a long video that uh, I didn't have enough storage to the point to where I couldn't even upload it. So I tried uh, doing uh, two separate videos, you know, splitting it in two because I exceeded the maximum recording limit and, uh, and the video became corrupted. And as you know, once a video gets corrupted or a file gets corrupted on any computer or what have you, your best option and your only option is to delete it. So with that being said, it's time to do a JNA honing video and unfortunately you guys missed out on me doing a bevel set video and all that. So let me pause this right quick and I'll be right back to get started and we'll go from there. All right, stand by. Okay, we're back. Hope you can see all right. Looks like you can. Alrighty. This is a uh, Japanese natural water stone or JNAT that you commonly heard here too. Um, this is a Shubadani Type 100, which is the size. Type 100 is usually six by two inch. Uh huh. And uh, this is a Shubadani Asuedo or finishing stone. Japanese is a, a suedo for a finishing stone. Now, JNAT does not work like Dr. Matt's underrunning water technique. Yeah, that, that does not apply here because this right here, this stone is very specific. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's smooth as glass. It's medium speed. I wouldn't call it stupid fast, but I can't call it slow either. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hose this down here a little bit with a this is a just ordinary sauce bottle I picked up at Walmart the grilling section for like a dollar maybe probably not even that now I'm gonna take my diamond plate here we'll wet it down too now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build a slurry with this diamond plate the best thing you can build a slurry with and this is not my opinion this is pretty much a lot of people's opinions in some respects the best thing you can build a slurry with would be a natural Nagura. But uh, this is usually what I start off with on a JNAT. It's my 600 grit diamond plate. It cleans off the stone. It's not too harsh. And at the same time, it does not do uh, any damage to the razor's edge or anything like that. All right. Sure, we're still... Sure wish that uh, metal set video I done done good. Okay, now we're going to dilute the slurry a tiny bit. That's plenty. Useless. Now all I'm going to do is Keith Johnson style egg strokes because that's really all I really need to do. I don't need to do a lot of work here because it's pretty close to where I need it, need it to be to begin with. Oh. All right, my undercut's already fabulous. Now I'm putting a tiny bit of pressure, but not a lot. Just a snug, um, comfortable amount of pressure. And I do abbreviated X strokes. Now what I mean by abbreviated, and this thing's already starting to stick already, which is a good thing. My feedback is excellent. Now what I mean by uh, abbreviated X strokes 
is that most people come all the way down here. No, don't do that. Don't come all the way down here. Because when you do, you take a chance of putting too much pressure and warping your razor. And you don't want that. Especially if you had to do what I had to do to this thing to get it to take a really good edge and shave like a demon. It was really good today. Earlier today when I used uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD with it. And it wasn't quite there when I first started until I took it to my fire hose drop. And then after that, uh, it was like spot on. I mean, I, it could use a little extra refinement, but it wasn't uncomfortable. And I pretty much got a baby butt smooth shave uh, after the fact. This thing is already getting, I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, this thing's already getting really sticky, which is a really good sign. Now, I got a microphone boom stand coming in, along with an adapter, and unfortunately the adapter won't be here till Tuesday, Wednesday, next week right in the middle of our bathroom getting remodeled and i'm talking full-blown remodel floor coming up and all new shower going in i mean full-blown remodel so this is why i'm prompting this uh honing video because i don't know how much time i'm going to get and i don't know if anybody's ever been through a remodel or been around construction but they pretty much know you can't do anything because of the noise the freaking noise is off the page during the remodel. Okay, now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but when you watch me hone, you can see two parallel lines in my undercut going. Now, undercut is where the slurry cuts over the top and the edge right here cuts underneath the slurry in the water and whatnot. And let me tell you, this thing's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be like a demon. Now, in my bevel setting video, I didn't have enough spine wear like I got in here now. On both sides, it was uneven. And it tap. And when you do a tap and wobble test where you see how it don't do anything now, this razor didn't do that. See the two parallel lines? That's how you know you got it spot on. But this razor wouldn't do that when I first got it. In fact, even rolling, rolling X strokes wouldn't touch it. So I had to do some serious work and I tried to put it on video for you guys, but it took a lot longer than anticipated. Used a lot more uh, storage than it is anticipated. And it was a mess. You don't have to get real fancy with it. Just do X strokes. Just do X strokes. Once you get to this point where I'm at, you can pretty much just do whatever you want, really. I mean, just ordinary X strokes is all that's needed. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. She's going to be spotless. Now, my buddy Anthony does half strokes like this, but you have to count. That was 10. I pretty much just, that was also 10. I pretty much just do that number right there. What the heck? See what happens if I do Lynn Abram style circles. I just go the length of the zone. And then I do the same on the other side so it'll be even. 
I don't really care for circles that much. I just prefer the egg strokes. This thing's starting to feel real sticky like a semi-solid chocolate bar that you're trying to stir, but it's cooling off and it's resetting up on you. It's like right halfway between half melted. It's like half melted, but not quite uh, fully melted yet. And it's uh, almost to the point where you can't hardly push it across the stone, even with weight. It's getting really sticky, almost like blue. Let's see, not there yet. Not quite there, but it's trying to. Now, new guys, some razors have a warp in them. What do you do? You don't want to do any more geometry creation or creation, whatever you want to call it. And you don't got spine wear even where it's supposed to be, but it still doesn't hit the entire edge. What you could do is a rowing stroke. Now, what the rowing stroke is is you like slightly lift the heel or you slightly uh, lift the toe off and as you bring it towards you you lower the you raise the heel to get the toe that's too much you don't need a lot but that's a rolling X strokes get familiar with that stroke especially if you're going to buy vintages off of eBay because if you don't, you're going to have some issues honing. All right. Dilute the slurry. Not a lot, but enough. Beautiful. Oh, she's going to be nuts. Okay. Alrighty, let me go ahead and get this stone rinsed off and another swig of coffee real quick. Okay. Oh, I'm in a precarious position here. Pretty soon it'll be a whole lot easier on me. Put this puppy down. Now I'm going to start with a blue side on my uh, Suhiro 1K 3K combo stone, which I pretty much use as a slurry stone now. So this is 1000 grit side. Don't be gentle with it. Beat the living crap out of it when you build slurry. What the heck? Let me have to think. There we go. Oh, 
goodness. Alrighty, now let's see what happens. Alright, this is the one case right now. Yeah, spineware freaks, anti spineware freaks would have had seizures and epileptic fits left and right if they seen that Bevel Set video. I think I went through a ton of tape too just to get it where I needed to be to keep the size of the razor. Getting a nice even hit, nice even undercut. Now I'm not using pressure, almost none in fact. Just enough to stay in control with the blade, but other than that, all I'm using is the weight of the blade, folks. You don't need to kill your edge, you don't need a ton of pressure. With the JNAP, especially on the Asuedo uh, uh, finishing stone, because like I stated, if your bevel's nuts like this one is right here, you see the geometry's great, everything's good. You've done took it in a into a progression, such as uh, I did, which is a 600 grit followed by the 1K Serex Suhiro Serex. Then I went to a Suhiro Rika 5K. Then I done Dr. Matt's uh, underrunning water technique with the Norton 8K, if you could call it an 8K. I need to fix that stone, by the way, and get rid of it and get me another 8K stone. I'm leaning towards the Shapton uh, Splash and Go 8K, but not real sure on that yet, because there's a, another one I'm dying to get, and that would be the uh, the other 8K I'm dying to get would be the Naniwa. Snow White, man, because that thing right there is like, whew, wow. Let's do a little circles here, get a little polishing going. Just a little polishing. Slurries getting real light, but the razors gliding across, no issues. See how it's a real milky white type slurry. You don't want it too thin, but you don't want it too thick like glue neither. You want to find a happy medium when it comes to building a slurry. I mean, a happy medium it could be anything. And this is just for this specific stone. Um, as I stated in my other videos, no natural stone is going to be the same. Even if you get it from the same vein and the same mine, you're still going to have differences in there. What not. If anybody tells you, oh, they're the same, they're the same, they're the same, they're not. It's like the guys out there swear up and down that the uh, codicle is an 8K. No, a codicle is not an 8K. You can't think a K when it comes to things like that. Thicken up the slurry a tiny bit. That's perfect. 
That's exactly where I wanted it. And it's getting better and better each minute. I'm doing a slight hook. This thing's going to be retarded. It was already close to where I needed it when I started this morning. And uh, after I took it to my vintage fire hose drop. By the way, that video will be coming up next too. I'll explain my stropping routine and what difference and whatnot. And uh, we'll go from there in a few minutes after I get done with this third and final slurry here. Let me rinse the stone off. Real quick. build another slurry here this time I'm using the 3k side I should have soaked it because it's see how it's uh giving me issues I didn't soak the slurry stone thought about getting the Shepton and the Naniwa Nagura stone but Nah, it's still up here on that. Speaking of Shaptons, I think I might be going with a Shapton 8K if I can't get the Naniwa uh, Snow White 8K. And uh, Naniwa, to their credit, has it listed as a it's over a bit, as a polishing stone. We got a milky white slurry going on. I'm doing a slight roll, but not a lot. I'll fix the neck puppy up. That's not quite where I wanted it. It's pretty close. I should do it. Oh, yeah. There we go. I don't know if you can tell, but you can definitely, I don't know if you can see it in this video, but you can tell I've done some serious honing. That's perfect right there. Exactly. Now, when I'm doing X strokes, I don't really count. I just keep going till I get a real serious significant change in my feedback and usually with a Japanese natural water stones for the most part I'm not going to say all of them because this is the only one I got and I haven't really honed on any others yet and uh Jay Nats that is and uh and uh usually I just keep going until my feedback changes you know, some serious feedback changes. Usually with this stone, though, specifically, it's, uh, 
the razor gets sticky. Do a little circle polishing action here. Oh, mama, look at that. Position's kind of hard to hone in. My feedback is getting sticky now. I mean, it's getting really stupid sticky now. That's usually when it's time to quit. A couple more for prosperity's sake. I'm sitting behind the camera folks I'm behind my phone with a tripod over my right knee and it's a little bit of a pill to hone this way and what the heck some kind of something's on there I think I got it I don't know if you can see it right there or not Hell, I put a stone put on a spineware spine, spine on here. But uh, that should do it for this honing session right here. I'll be back with another video here shortly on uh, stropping it, what I do in my routine, etc. and whatnot. And uh, hopefully this helps some new guys out. Uh, for future reference, I need to soak this before I use it as a slurry stone again. But uh, that should do it. And uh, hopefully this will help somebody out. This is uh, one of these uh, type scenarios where you get to uh, hone all day. And I pretty much do sometimes. But uh, y'all have a nice day. Thank you and God bless.